we should just trap him in a simulation where it seems like he has unlimited uh, power, but it's really just like him running Grand Theft Auto Five with all the cheat codes on. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder oh. if that's what he was like. He's he's like playing Grand Theft Auto with like ultra like a an ultra detailed graphics mod, and he's like, "Damn, this looks real. Maybe we're living in a simulation right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those textures. That looks like real life." He's just incredibly high. Yeah, it's like, wait, am I outside? Is this my gun? <laughs> now imagining like <laughs> in a future communist utopia, like Elon Musk wearing like full VR goggles and like headset. He's a janitor, like mopping the floor, and like in his head, he's in like inside the virtual reality. He's still himself from before the revolution. He's just like uh, a CEO <laughs> still, and he's like, "Man, this is great." What if we are all uh, former bourgeois pigs in a digital re-education camp right now, living out shittier lives than we would get to have in the communist utopia? Oh yeah, yeah. Huh? It could be. How's that for <laughs> an esoteric take, fucking Posadist? <laughs> <laughs> and maybe this is like the end phase where it's like because podcasters led the revolution, so everyone has to like live through a life, and then gradually you get radicalized towards the left at some point in your life cycle, and then eventually you start a communist podcast, and then once the podcast <laughs> ends, you wake back up, and it's like suddenly you're Bill Gates in post-revolution, and it's like, do you understand now? why podcast communism is the only way forward. And then you're crying and you say, yes, of course. I really felt like I was hosting BP Bledis. <laughs> so everybody listening, we are not at peak podcast. Go out and start a communist podcast so you can get reincarnated in the post-revolutionary society. <laughs> exactly. Once every person in America, you have to. Once every person in America has their own communist podcast, that's when they'll all wake up and realize that the revolution already happened. <laughs> that's praxis. That's why podcasting is politics because it's literally bringing the revolution. It's literally bring and not figuratively. And Marianne Williamson is there. Mm. <laughs> well, of course, obviously. 